This video is brought to you in part by the Sri Lanka Tourism Board. Everybody talks when there's a camera. Yeah. It's get a, a wholesale a, place. Wholesale. Wholesale? Wholesale, yes. Yeah, this, this is nice. Pineapples. So, here you could buy something uh, cheaper than the city. No, yeah, I'm sure. But it's all fruit. This is good. We're in the Colombo Fort area, yeah, well, area and this is pretty much a, a market. Market, yes. At the moment, exactly. there's no more fort. There's actually no fortress here, but this is where the Portuguese and the British had their fort. Yeah. Now it's a fish, vegetable, fruit market. Yeah. As you can see, right here we have dried fish, as we saw earlier today in uh, Nagambo. All the fried fish. Over here we have pineapple fruit. The other side. Yeah. Just a variety of different fruits. But expensive and very rare. It's all fruit grows in Sri Lanka and that one. And that one too. And what is that one? This one is called Rambutan. It's Rambutan. like a lychee. Like a lychee. Like a lychee. lychee. Is it good? This is no name. We call mangosteen. It's the same, same name. Same name. So it's a little expensive, but it's a little one. Oh, that looks like you know. Yeah, the pineapple is delicious. Yeah. Okay. Over here we have uh, planting. Uh, no? Planting banana. Same banana, thing, no? banana. Planting banana. Yes. Yeah. Look. So as you can see, the streets are destroyed here. A bunch of potholes. But this is. Flip it around. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I'm here at the Galif Face Hotel and this is the hotel I'm staying at here in Colombo, the capital. And this hotel is a colonial hotel, so it's, it's also one of the oldest hotels here on the island of Sri Lanka. As you can see, it's a colonial building from the British Empire days. And right here we have the ocean. And that is the flag of Sri Lanka right there. Right now we're checking out of the hotel. It's uh, day two of my trip and we're headed down south to Gale and that is a colonial, Portuguese colonial city. And there we'll be uh, doing a bunch of different things. I don't know, even know exactly what we're doing yet. I have to see the itinerary with the guide, but I'll see you in five minutes in the car. Peace. <laughs> So right now we're in Morotua and this uh, town is famous for making uh, furniture, not, not expensive furniture, it's cheap furniture you could buy here on the side of the road, but it's, uh, it's, it's their industry as you can see right there, they're cutting wood and making furniture. Even just after the tsunami, uh, people lost their houses again, they built houses the same place because they, they, they have no choices to wow. move place they don't mind when the tsunami comes they do their jobs wow. smells like wood yeah. everywhere there's wood This is called Panadura River. Look at those grapes. Wow, delicious. So the entire way to Gale is like this, just town after town after yes. town after town for three hours. And if they had a if they had a main highway, like a big highway like in the US or like in Europe, 
it would take roughly an hour to get there. Less, right? Maybe less. Maybe less. Drive 140. Less. Wow. Less so they, they have no highways in the country. Oh, uh, it's, it's building. They're building. Uh, yeah. Yes. Where? From where to where? It's from from Matara to Colombo Airport. Oh yeah. Yes. And what's this? This is the the Kalutara Kalutara Temple. The no, it looks looks beautiful. I wish. Mm. I mean, we don't have time to stop, but. Hey everyone, so we're here in Kalutara and this uh, this town is on the way to Gale or Gaul and they're famous for their temple within Sri Lanka so tur tourists don't really come here this is more a famous place for Sri Lankan people to come and go to the temple well, uh, What was the name of the town? Uh, this is not Bentota, this is before Bentota This is Beruala Yes, before being totally. It's very nice, the boats. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Fiber boats. Fiber boats. Yeah. And what are these for fishing? Uh, Not really. They're the taller, uh, taller boats, you know, like a uh, trawler. Uh, it goes uh, uh, for big fish. Okay. Yeah, going for big fish. Not for the net fish. <laughs> Go and put net and then pull. Mm -hmm. No, not like that. Neither. It goes more than one month. Wow. Yes. Hi. Uh, this is this area we call Ambalangoda. It is close to Gaul. Actually, it's like 35 kilometers before Gaul. Uh, this Ambalangoda is uh, we famous, known as a mask and uh, Sri Lankan's uh, low country dance okay, so city. Th so this is Angolangole? Angolangole. Angolangole. And this city is famous for their mask. And we're going to stop right now at a mask museum. Yes. Mask and I'm going to buy a few different masks that I wanted to get for, for my apartment and for a few of my friends. Yes. And um, yeah, it's a small town. It's very near Gaul. It's about 35 kilometers from Gaul. And the main thing to do here is to go to the mask museum and buy yourself a mask. This is the most authentic mask in the entire country. This place is famous for their mask. So yes. don't buy masks on the street. Try to come here. If you're going from Colombo to Ga to Gale, which is Gaul, stop here and buy yourself a mask. All right, let's let's make it. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 